up everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video I am so blooming excited because I am gonna be trying on some wedding dresses for the very first time now if you guys didn't know I recently got engaged this is what my ring looks like you guys are seeing it for the first time on my main channel and honestly I did not expect to get engaged at all if you saw my story time with my fiance Matt then you'll know how it all happened and everything so if you guys haven't seen that video I will link it in the eye right there so yeah basically I had no clue so I I never really thought about a wedding dress in a realistic manner as if I was actually gonna get married anytime soon so when I finally got engaged I thought this would be the perfect time to do the I try it wish wedding dresses because I've always wanted to do that video but I never had an excuse to do so I've recently seen a couple of different youtubers do this video such as Sophia Nygaard and also my friend Jazzy Bum so I will link their videos down below I love them so much and yeah I thought I would just give it a go myself I picked up five different dresses so we're gonna see whether the dresses are any good in quality does it look like the picture and also is it worth the money if you guys haven't subscribed already make sure you do come and join the dinosaur family by hitting that big red button below and also don't forget to follow me on my social media at Roxoras on everything but if you guys want to see what dresses I picked up from wish then let's get on into the video okay so the very first dress is right here now this looks really really worryingly small <laughs> for a wedding dress I mean it's sort of meant to be like a full-length gown and it kind of looks a little bit small. Now this one, it cost me 12 pounds, so it is a little bit over 10 pounds. However, it is still so affordable, so I'm really hoping that we can get a bargain. I am kind of worried though, because it is very small. Okay, so this is it. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay, so first impressions. This is what it looks like. It kind of has a lot of like, sheer mesh panel and then it's got the lace at the back that you can just do up with a little button and then it's also got a zipper which is nice so this dress is kind of plain I'll show a photo of it right now as to what it looks like on wish but the thing that really drew me to this dress was the bottom half so basically it's kind of got like a sheer mesh panel going through the bottom and I just thought it looked so so beautiful in the photo I think it's very interesting and it's very different for a wedding dress so that's why I had to get it to try it for myself okay I'm just having a look at the original photo and I've got to say it definitely doesn't really look like the original I mean this is just like a cheaper version of the dress in the photo it's definitely not the exact same thing now with wish what I find is that they usually have a photo of like an expensive dress that is actually a real dress by some random company and what wish does is basically tries to recreate the item but for a lot cheaper and obviously in turn the quality won't be as good I mean with this dress what I bought it for was this mesh panel so I feel like because they actually managed to replicate it slightly not exactly but slightly I am quite happy so let's try this on and see if this will actually look any good on okay so this is the first dress it's on and it actually fits pretty well like the shape is nice and cinched in around the waist it fits is my size so that's all good but I'm just looking at the photo which I'll pop on screen right now and I can see that it's missing a lot of the detail that it has in the actual original photo of the listing for example this part here and also this part here is kind of just like a cut off straight line however in the photo it is kind of like still lacy so it's kind of got like a lace edge kind of how it does on this part here and I feel like that just looks a lot better it looks a lot more premium and they sadly did not recreate that for this dress which is kind of annoying but it is still a really pretty dress I also noticed that there isn't a line of like this sort of fabric here which in the photo she does have like a slight slither of sort of like sheer lace which I think actually adds to the dress a lot more as well just because it kind of breaks up this white portion and adds a little bit of skin and I am actually kind of sad that they didn't do that for this dress either I've got to say the length of this dress is actually pretty good it goes all the way down to the floor I'm having to stand on my tiptoe so you guys can see and then this is what it looks like around the back I think it looks really pretty at the back as well but of course you would have to wear a see-through like bra or a backless bra of some sort so that you wouldn't see your bra on the back the quality of this dress isn't too bad like I quite like the lace it's not itchy or anything and for the price we paid it is still a really pretty dress so I'm gonna give it like a six out of ten okay so next dress is right here again it comes in such a small tiny bag so I am kind of worried that it's not really gonna be as great as the photo but we'll see okay so the quality of this one right off the bat feels so much nicer it's like 
actually a well-made dress. Big shocker there. I mean, it is wish, but oh my God, this is so pretty. Okay, so this is the dress. It's kind of hard to show just holding it up, but basically it's got this long, long string at the back that you can kind of lace through these little eyelets on the back of the dress and kind of have like a crisscross effect, which I think is so beautiful. I love the actual material of it. It's super floaty and like, really, really long. So I'm hoping we're gonna get that fishtail action with this one. I actually really like the lace of this dress as well. It's not like your typical cheap looking lace. It's actually got a really intricate floral pattern on it. I've got to say for a cheap dress off of Wish, this feels like really nice quality and it actually looks like a wedding dress. So let's try this on and see how it looks. Oh my goodness. This is what this dress looks like and I, I've got to say, I am obsessed with this one. It is so, so beautiful. I love the back the most. Like, I just love how it laces up. I think it's so delicate and so feminine. And the actual dress is pretty long itself. It does kind of like drape over around the back, which is like my favorite thing. I would say that the sort of boob region is a little bit like exposed. I think it's a little bit too much for a wedding. I probably would want to like cover up a little bit. I think this would be such a beautiful dress for like a hot summer sort of wedding. And the fact that this was only 13 pounds is actually pretty crazy to me because it is super nice quality. It's actually reaching the floor and I just love the back of it so much. I think the only one criticism that I actually have about this dress is that I wish that the bottom cinched in even more so that it actually had like a super super cut out sort of fishtail look. At the moment it just kind of goes straight down like I love how fitted it is around the hips but I just wish it was a little bit cinched in at the bottom as well. But either way I am actually really really pleasantly surprised by this dress so I'm gonna give it like a 9 out of 10. This next dress is the largest of them all. It actually came in a pretty big packet. I mean, it's still not like really, really big, but it's definitely bigger than the other dresses. I have no clue which one this is. They all pretty much look exactly the same in the packaging. Okay, right off the bat, I'm pretty sure this is my favorite one from Wish. Yes, okay, I am so nervous for this one. This looks amazing in the photo, which I'll pop on screen right now. Honestly, it's like a dream wedding dress. It was only 12 pounds, but I've got to say, this is like my type of dress. When I'm gonna get married, I kind of want something like that. So I'm actually really, really nervous. Are we ready? Oh my God. What? the heck okay it is actually really pretty oh wow this is so cute okay so this is the dress how pretty is the top i am obsessed like i'm actually in love it looks so much like the photo i mean Let's take a closer look. It doesn't look exactly like the photo, but it's pretty close for a 12 pound dress. And then the bottom is quite long. This is how long it is, but I'm hoping it's gonna be long enough like for it to go over the ground and kind of just like drape behind me like it does in the photo because it's so beautiful. I love fishtail dresses and I just think they are like the most beautiful dresses for weddings. So I'm really hoping this is gonna look good. Let's try it on and see. This is what the next dress looks like. And I, again, I'm so obsessed with this one. I honestly didn't think I would like it on as much as I did in the photo, but it actually looks pretty good. I mean, it definitely doesn't look exactly like the original listing, but as you kind of look at it, it's still a really pretty dress all on its own. I love the shape of it. It's really super cinched in at the waist. Like it's really bodycon up here, which I definitely would love something like this for my real wedding dress one day. And I also love how it kind of poofs out at the sort of ends. It's not super fishtail, but it definitely has that like fishtail sort of look to it. I also really love the top half. I obviously had to not wear a bra for this one because it would just look really weird, but you could always wear like a stick on bra underneath or something. And I've got to say the only thing that's actually kind of bothering me about this dress is the fact that these sides kind of look a little bit big again and I just feel like you could totally cinch it in a little bit like that so it wasn't so like poofy on the sides of the boobs. I think it's also worth mentioning that the straps on this dress are not adjustable, which kind of sucks because, you know, different people have different bust sizes and this might not work for everyone. I mean, for me, this dress is sort of rising up and I wish that this part here was kind of a little bit lower and that I could adjust the actual straps to make it lower, but 
it's not the end of the world. You could totally maybe try and do something about it by adjusting it and tailoring it to your own body. I do still stand by what I sort of thought initially when I got this dress out of the bag, and that is that the lace doesn't really look its greatest. Like, it doesn't look the best quality. It kind of has that, like, cheapish lace look to it, which isn't ideal for your wedding dress, but... I feel like you could totally still make this work if you want to go on a budget. I think it's still a super pretty dress and also this is what it looks like from the back which I think is so flattering. I'm gonna give this like a 6 out of 10. Okay, this next one cost me £12 and this one is one of the most like iconic wedding dresses that you see on like Tumblr and Pinterest and just in general all over the internet. I've seen this dress since I was like a teenager and I've always loved it so I decided to get it from Wish. Now, I'm hoping this is gonna look somewhat similar to the picture. I really, really hope. This is it. I see some gold. I'm not gonna lie, the ribbon looks kind of cheap, but we're just gonna, just gonna wait to see the full thing. I mean, I think that's actually cute, but I can't tell. I mean, I can't tell until I actually put it on and see what it looks like on, but just holding it up, it feels okay quality. It doesn't feel amazing, I've gotta say, but the actual look of it looks really premium and it looks a lot like the actual dress, so I'm pretty impressed. But then when you get to the bottom part, it's kind of a letdown. I mean, it's not that bad, but it just, I don't know, this bit here ruins it. Like the way that the lower part of the dress is kind of connected with the fishtail end, I just... I don't know if it's working for me. <laughs> but the top looks very, very promising, so I'm excited to try this on. Okay, this is the next dress. Honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed with it. I mean, I didn't expect great things from the price that we paid. However, seeing that photo on Wish and kind of just like reliving my teenager dreams of like being able to wear a dress like this one day when I get married, it's kind of ruined <laughs> because I mean, let's just look at this dress. It is so nothing like the photo, unfortunately. I mean, I didn't really expect it to be, but at the same time, when you see that advertised as a photo, you kind of just think, hmm, maybe Maybe it will be at least a little bit close. And don't get me wrong, I do really like how much effort they've put into like this lace. It doesn't look cheap, which is the main thing. However, it is a little bit itchy on the arms. So I thought I'd mention that. Also this portion here where like the breasts are meant to sit. I wish there was like an underwiring or something um, or the fabric was at least a different material because it kind of just looks like a t-shirt over my boobs. There's no support. There's literally nothing and I just feel like it's not really flattering on the chest. Then there's the bottom part which as you can see I'm wearing, I actually changed my underwear to nude underwear because I realized I was wearing blue underwear and it really wasn't doing any of the dresses justice so I changed to nude underwear and I feel like it still, I don't know, it looks okay in the viewfinder but I bet you it's gonna be so see-through when I'm editing this video. It is quite long so it's kind of true to its picture for that reason but I just don't really like this band here. Like I just think it looks a little bit cheap. But apart from all those bad things, like from afar it still looks like a super pretty dress. For the price that we paid which was so inexpensive, it's a really nice dress visually but I probably wouldn't wanna wear something like this to my actual wedding so I'm gonna have to give this like a four out of 10. Now for the very last dress, oh my my god, I feel like I kind of left the best till last because this photo looked amazing on Wish. So I'm gonna be pretty, pretty impressed if the dress looks anything like it. So here we go, wish me luck. Ooh, I'm so excited for this one. I've just gotta say, before I actually fully open it, it feels quite nice, like the lace doesn't feel really cheap. So I love that about Wish when they actually kind of come through with the quality because it's very, very rare that they actually have good quality clothes. So this is it. It is so cute. Oh wow. The only thing I don't like is the fact that the underskirt kind of crops halfway down and then the lace continues. That's like one of my biggest pet peeves about dresses. But at the same time, I'm just looking back at the photo and the actual original dress in the photo does have a cropped underlayer just like this. So I can't really come for this dress for that reason. This dress has a similar style and shape to it, but it definitely doesn't have the same sort of lace pattern, which is kind of disappointing because that is half of the reason why this dress I think is 
is so beautiful. It's also got some like weird random pearls, kind of just like, I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see that? It's just like a circle of pearls right where the boobs are meant to be. I don't know if I like that because that just like really brings attention to like the nipple area, which I don't think is great. Oh, I just realized it's also got some see-through straps, which is actually really, really clever. And then it's also got a zipper at the back. So yeah, this dress was 11 pounds. Let's pop it on and see how it looks. And this is the very last dress I've got to say. This one is tight. It is tight. Now, I thought that this would be my size, but I literally can't spread my legs any further than this, and even that looks ridiculous. I could barely get this dress over my hips, which was a struggle. I wish you guys could see it. So yeah, needless to say, I cannot breathe in this dress one bit, but I still think it's really pretty. I'm wearing it with those see-through straps, which I think is pretty like discreet. You can't really see them too well because obviously they're see-through. I don't mind this dress too much, but it's not one of my favorites. I think I still don't really like that panel of like sheer fabric at the bottom and then having this bit like cut off halfway through. I just think it looks a little bit weird. I'm not saying this is really, really bad because I feel like some people definitely could rock it. But for me, I just don't think this bottom panel is doing it for me. So I'm gonna have to give this like a three out of 10. So those are all of the wedding dresses I'm gonna try for you guys today from Wish. I had a blast filming this video. I'm actually getting so much more excited now to get married and pick a dress and all that good stuff. I'm probably not gonna get married for like another year or two, but you know, you can at least start thinking about it, right? Let me know down below which one of these dresses was your favorite. Would you get married in any of these dresses? Do you think it's worth the money? Do you think it's just like a scam? I am actually pleasantly surprised with some of these dresses. I mean, some of them were a little bit like, mm, doesn't really fit like in all the right places, but I guess you could always tailor them. Like if you're trying to do a wedding on a budget and you don't want to spend heaps of money on a wedding dress, I think maybe if you tailored them, maybe they would work better. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to see a part two, then let me know. I might do another video if you guys enjoy this one. Also, if you guys have any suggestions, comment down below what videos you would like me to do in the near future. I love hearing your suggestions and filming videos that you guys actually wanna see. So anyways, that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.